to say good evening to everyone. I tried to give this task to Reverend Alderman, but he went and came and sat down. So I guess that means that the task falls on me, but it's a great thing. And I just want to thank God for all of you, my brothers and sisters. Uh, we do have many ministers and preachers and pastors that you're more than welcome to join us on the pulpit if you so desire. We are so great to have all the churches represented here tonight, these great pastors, and we thank God for the woman of God that's going to declare the word. Let us give God the praise and glory. Good, good Friday. It is a good Friday. Amen. And so we're going to find out how good it really is Amen. to be in the land of the living, in a, in a place where we can come and worship. And I don't know what you really come to do, but I pray that you would just look on the living God. Amen. Amen. For the Bible says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Because sometimes we come in and we try to fill, figure out the filler, but we're in our father's house. And when I go to my when I when I was going to my mama's house, and when I got ready to go to the refrigerator, I didn't ask no permission. I just went right on up in there because I'm a part of the house. And so I want to let you know that you're a part of the house. And you don't have to wait for me to tell you to praise God. When I think of all he's done for me, I can't help but to live my hand and give it to me. Anybody with me that don't mind me doing it, I'm going to raise my hand and give it to me. On last Sunday, the shout of Hotel, we ought to still have a hotel and still in our spirit. Amen. Would you stand with us uh, as you will open your program? And, and it has us with our opening call to worship. I, I, I guess I will read the leader's part and ask the people to read the people's part. Everybody said, Leader, in this holy week, on this holy night, the people, we are the of Jesus in With the glory of Palm Sunday behind us and the victory of Easter not yet, let us read together. We, we gather the not breaking our hearts. Amen. The doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him, all Yes. Praise God, the Son, and Holy Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. Thank you for this night, Lord God. Thank you that we have awaited this time that we can come together again. Father, every church and every pastor and every leader in every church, God. I thank you that, Lord God, we come in the spirit of agreement. Father, we understand that what is going on in heaven ought to be happening on earth. There is no division in heaven. There is no division in this house. We come and we declare that you are Lord of Lord, King of Kings, and Lord God, that you are fighting for us. We are on the winning team, God. For the battle has already been fought and the victory already won. Heavenly yeah. Father, search our hearts tonight. Yeah. Lord God, anything that's burdening us, anything that would be a distraction, we ask, Lord God, that you would do special surgery tonight. Cut it away from us, God, that we might be able to hear what the Spirit has to say to the church, that we can, Lord God, not only be a hearer of the Word, but to do of that word also. We want to thank you right now, Lord God. If there's any person in this building, Lord God, that's going through any sickness or having any pain, God, that you would touch them now. That, Lord God, any, just any person that's going through something that's, that's boggling their mind, God, that you would give them because we do to you are the Prince of Peace. And, Lord God, we thank you tonight, God, that we come to encourage one another. Keep on fighting. For well, the battle has already been, been, been won, Lord God, and we thank you that we're we're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep praising. We're going to keep encouraging, God. We're going to keep lifting you up. Because you're doing drawing, God. You're saving like only you can. This we thank you for in Jesus' name. I'm knowing our, I'm knowing our praise team as they will open up with our musical selection. And we thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's praise God. Let's put your hands together. How we going to We thank God for our combined choir that's going to sing this evening. Mass choir. Amen. The mass choir is going to lend their voices and they're going to sing. See, we have to declare a thing. 
Yes. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yes. Even though there might be a, a few folk there that the heavenly host we're going to sing along with. Right. Amen. And we're going to sing along with it. We're going to make a big choir tonight. Come on, praise me. Let's, let's sing praises unto the Lord. And after that, we're going to come back with our scripture and our prayer.
and saved thyself, and I in superscriptions also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. Mm -hmm. This is the king of the Jews. Mm -hmm. And one of the male factors which were hanged rail on him and said, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. Mm -hmm. But the others answered, rebuked him, saying, Does not thou fear God? Seeing thou that art in the same condemnation, mm -hmm. and we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. Yeah. But, mm. but this man has done nothing of this. <laughs> and he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou into thy kingdom. Yeah. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today, today shalt thou be with me in paradise. God bless his holy word. Thank you, Lord.
this place and breathe new life within us. Send a refreshing glory, purify our hearts. Let your glory fill this place. Let your all consuming fire fill this path.
but sometimes it's okay to get out of order. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Because we can't program God. Amen.
on our program, uh, if you're following our program, we have a time of remarks and announcements. Do we have any announcements and remarks from the, the, the different churches? I do have one here that I want to personally read because we are so grateful to be able to have the newly elected pastor of New Hope here with us. Amen. Amen. Amen.
buddy, my brother, in the Lord, Reverend Johnson, and my one of my musicians, Brother B. I called one and told them to get together to form a choir, and they did. Right. And I thank God for that. And for all of you who do not know, one of our pastors in the hospital right now, he is recovered from a, a surgery that I had performed today. His daughter called me about 4 o'clock this afternoon and told me that he was uh, recovering well. And he also uh, told me on Wednesday, he called me Wednesday and told me that uh, he wasn't going to be able to be here tonight for me to go to his house and get the donation and bring it. So I did. Yeah. He is obedient to the dad. So as y'all continue uh, to lift him up, his daughter called and said he was doing well from the surgery and continue to bless him that uh, God will have him back where he needs to be very, very soon. Yeah. And uh, he is in his age. Yeah. Exactly what age. I'm up, but I know it's 80. <laughs> and uh, so he will be here if he could. And as we continue to uh, have the service tonight, some other things that I have uh, uh, passed on to the group, a uh, thing will change at the last minute. But nevertheless, I thank God. And uh, I thank God for you all as we gather together in another year of service. And 23 years ago, I was invited to a, a, a service we were having all week, seven, eight, six, eight uh, nights a week back then. Yeah. It was seven then, thank you. And Pastor Luke Moore, who was going on the door tonight, invited me to come on that Tuesday night and told me to uh, that he was going to bring the word that Tuesday night. And he set me up. <laughs> and he announced to the group that it would be his last group night in the revival and passing Mount Holly. And he said, but my replacement is in here right now. And that man looked around at me. And he set me up. And that Tuesday night, Deacon Greg or Deacon Moore, that Tuesday came by my house and said, you heard what? Reverend Moore said to us, and they came and said, do you accept position? And I said, I gotta think about this. But they did not give up. 23 years later, they have ran me off yet. But nevertheless, I thank God because this meeting 23 years ago is what got me involved with this and the minister here. He said that I'm the one in charge of this service. <laughs> but I don't know how that come about, but nevertheless. <laughs> but I thank God for you guys supporting this service. And I thank God for our speaker of tonight. Who <laughs> so I know without a shadow of doubt is going to allow God to lead her in the word. Yes. <laughs> And some of my members said, yes, we met, we know her from way back. But thank be to God, if I saw her way back, and saw her other than the few meetings that we had, uh, I tend to be the field. So I don't remember. Is there any other announcements that we need to make before we move into the time of preaching? So, praise God. Did we? Amen. Um, we, on our program, it, it had someone that will, from a, a great church that would come and do the introduction. Did we give them the microphone? Amen. Good evening to everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening.
the service. Um, when our old pastor was in our she came to the elder was in her, and I saw something in her that St. Philip needed. So my I looked at my elder and I told him, I said, I won't. Because our old pastor was, you know, he was there. And it was his time. Now it's her time. Um, and now, let you know a little bit about her. Her name is Betty Jane Payton, better known as Peachy. She don't mind you calling her Peachy. She's an ordained elder in the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. Has been in ministry over 21 years. She's the mother of two, grandmother of four, and great grandmother of two. She retired from the Hanover County Department of Social Service, worked in the Wilson and Greensboro, Green County DSS for a total of 31 years. She received an appointment as my pastor, our pastor at St. Philip, one of the greatest churches on Zion. <laughs>
this day. I greet you with only the joy that Jesus can instill in my I am appreciative of the opportunity that was uh, a sign. Yes. 
all to make sure he felt the maximum amount of pain. Tired, hurting, struggling. Jesus was made to carry the very cross which he was to be nailed on. As I searched to find a better understanding of what the crucifixion was, I knew they nailed him on the cross, I knew they hurt him, but what happened? What, what was going on? And I found out that to make this crucifixion last as long as it could, and to make it as painful as they could, they took a wooden block and placed it under the victim's feet to support him during this ordeal. Oh my God. Mm. So not only was his hands up, but his body was stretched. Amen. Yes. I, want, I want to pause here because we, we see the pictures. We, we, I don't know how many of you saw the story about the crucifixion of yes. Jesus. It took me five times to go through that and watch it because of the pain. Yes. I saw the visual aid. Yes. But this is what they did. And sometimes we try to say, oh, well, you know. It didn't hurt that day because, you know, he was supposed to be divine, you know. So, you know, don't feel so bad because, I mean, it didn't hurt really, did it? The scriptures, you forget, the scriptures say he was, he was born of. Sometimes when those back hurts like mine do, I got a half million dollars in new knees, they still hurt. I got a pain in my shoulder right here. And this one I can't raise my uh, hand up. And I complain every day, Lord, your mercy, the pain, the pain. Your back hurts, your feet hurts, your eyes hurt, your head hurts. You the first thing to be screaming, Lord, have mercy on me. <laughs> They didn't go through half of what Jesus did. So don't try to erase his, his humanity. Because the scripture that you know, he was born of a woman. And therefore, he was flesh. He cried out. And we brushed that torture off. With this Roman style of execution, the cross was placed high so viewing would not be obstructed. Neither did anyone have to go out of their way. Crucifixions were always on a major road or a busy square, and this kind of humiliation and torture uh, was usually uh, left with slaves. Yes. Some, some people who weren't worth anything, uh -huh. and someone who resisted the Roman authority. But this time, uh, this time, there was a celebrity in the house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. And they did all they could to make sure that death took more than two days. Uh -huh. The person usually died from ex exhaustion and suffocation. The Romans wanted to exploit those victims' disgrace and humiliation through all of this public display. Yeah. Oh, in Jesus' case, they used crucifixion as a means of torture. Yes. And then they hung him between two feet. My God. Yes. And that was the last and final slap of indignity. Yes. But what they thought they were doing was being indignant, but yet they were fulfilling Amen. the scripture. Amen. Isaiah 53 says, and he was numbered with the transgressors. Yes. In death, they wanted Jesus to be remembered and identified with and as a criminal element, yes. when in fact he was securing the validity of the oh, scriptures yes. of exactly who he was. Yes. The two crosses in the shadow of Jesus' cross hung those two things, never named. We didn't care what their names were. When you meet somebody, that's the first thing you use ask them, what's your name? Yes. And I found out when I got to Wilmington, they want to know who your mom. Yeah. <laughs> who your dad? Yeah. You from the north side? You from, oh, you from the south side? I don't know you. <laughs> but they didn't care who these two men were. All that we know is that they did something illegal. And this was the Roman punishment for that crime. My God. What was declared was only known because the thieves admitted it. What is certain was, Jesus was the only person who did not meet the Roman definition of the criminal. Amen. Jesus accepted his faith.
faith with reluctance, but obedience. Yes. And Jesus, in all of his pain, degraded, deserted, humiliated, was still magnanimous to the end. Amen. The two thieves hung, bitter, defiant, cynical, judgment, judgmental, and obnoxious. The other penitent and submissive and humble. One died as he lived, and the other began to live as he died. There may have been a few things that escaped your attention in this scripture, and I, I want to, if you allow me, just a few minutes to tell you some things that I saw in here. One, each one on that cross shared a common faith. Strangers, they found themselves linked by the act of crucifixion. Yes. The two thieves probably deserve punishment, but I can hardly believe that they stole enough stuff to value the, the amount of the crucifixion. Amen. Their possible lawlessness, their disregard for authority, placed them in the position of exactly reaping what they had sown. Yes. But Jesus was innocent. Yes, he was. Even Pilate's examination of Jesus said he declared him faultless. Yes. Guilty or innocent, it didn't matter. They shared a common faith. Yes. We share a common faith. Yes. We come to this house to worship. Yes. We come to this house to proclaim that we are children of the king. Yes. And we come with a common lookout yes. that when we leave this world, it won't be the end. Amen. We share a faith. Is that yes. right? Yes. Yes. Their destiny merged on a lonely hill. Onlookers came to scorn, some curious, some heartbroken, and some even glad. Uh -huh. However it was, and it was a reminder that we are all in this life together. Yes. We share the same fate, rich or poor, black or white. Each one of us means something to someone, but we mean more to God. Yes. Each one of us must face death and are accounting for ourselves. Those of us who declare we are linked together through the brotherhood of faith must give, must give. When that trump sound. Oh, yes. 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 Not just an accounting, yes, but a Christian accounting. Yes. 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 We must resist the selfishness that is in our own hearts. Yes. The tendency to always think about number one. We have to begin to stretch ourselves and show concern for each other. Not those in our immediate family, and oh, not yes. those in our neighborhood, not those in our church, oh, but those of who are in the street. Oh, yes. 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 Those Amen. who are in the prison. Yes. Yes. We can't look down on anybody Amen. until we can look down on ourselves. Amen. We have to remember that all of us, yes. every last one of us, yes. made yes. the mistake. Yes. 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 And some of us just didn't get caught.
The real picture of some people is not revealed until that time of death. The one that died as he lived, defiant, unrepentant, scornful, yeah. selfish to the end. The other was pensant, I can't talk about it. Uh, thinking of a waste of time, he defended Christ to the thief. Do you fear God even when you're dying, confirming that the only spirit you could have revealed to him within those family final eyes? You know what St. Philip used to mean. I hope y'all be around so y'all can get used to me too. Get that right, Sheila. This man has done no wrong. There was an attitude of what they needed to have. Where was the attitude? What kind of attitude did they need? Look at the attitude of Jesus. Suffering. In excruciating pain, thirsty, bloody. Yet he cared, loved, and showed a genuine concern for those who took part in committing those atrocities. And instead of him saying, Father, condemn each one of them, Jesus said, Father, forgive me, for they know not what they do. In his pain, his suffering, he thought more about the souls of those who stabbed him, yes, slashed him, spit on him, than he did about getting ready for you. Yes, mm. yes. If we could only do a little bit of that, yes. just a little bit. Yes. And then there was the attitude of the crowd. Everybody wants to see. You let that patrol like blink and you try to get around. You gonna slow up when you get there. If I get hurt, if I get killed, where the angle is at? They stood watching. Did not dare get involved though. They stood gawking. Some curious, others excited, rebuking Jesus for daring to place himself in the same uh, language with God. His own people, the Jews. The ones who held, you know, them high positions. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord, give us our position with some authority. Oh, <laughs> you tell us we large and in charge. Let me take a skin. And you niggas better sit Because <laughs> <laughs> we got a pay check with some zeros on it now. Yeah. I know y'all been in trouble. Rebuking Jesus for daring to place himself as God. We know what his people did. Their attitude was one of disdain and hate and jealousy. How dare this man come up and mess up what we got going on? They didn't care about nothing, but you know what? All that little stuff we get from the people who sacrifice stuff, you know, we get a little something, something on the side, right? He don't come and say, no more sacrifices. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You tearing up our meat supply. No more sacrifice. Where are we going to get the, a grain from? Yeah. Here you come. See, we thought you were supposed to be, uh, you know, the high man, the, the real man. Yeah. Leaving stuff as it was mm. and killing the Romans. But let us stay in power. Amen? Jesus. But Jesus said, no. No. That's not the real thing. All they knew is that this man was going to tear down the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Others were just onlookers, not wanting to get involved. We need to look at ourselves and find out if either one of these attitudes fits us. Yeah. Oh. How long can we reveal, revel in someone else's pain and suffering? How long can we take a back seat and not cry out when we know something is wrong? How yeah. long can we stand on the yeah. sidelines yeah. and not get involved looking and upholding wrong, yeah. afraid to step oh, up? What will others say yeah. say about me? Yeah. Our attitude oh. must be one of genuine hurt, help, concern, assistance, and care. Yeah. We must resist the temptation to stop depending on someone else. Yeah. 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 Get up and talk yeah. about yeah. 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 While we sit back, mm -hmm. complaining and criticizing. Yeah. If we don't step up, but brother, somebody comes, the first thing you say, he Every time I turn around, he come up, throwing up his hand like nobody else could do. Well, what's wrong with y'all? That's right. Uh, that's right. That's right. Boy, sister come up. Oh, Lord, y'all in trouble now. You think we can't tear each other down, women? Oh, God. She always up in the preacher face. Who she after? We know her husband just died, and here she come in here prancing around. Yeah. 
depending on other people while we sit back complaining and criticizing. Yes, 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 yes. Did you hear me? Yes, the church, not the building, the church, yes. not the pews, That's right. the church, yes. not the pulpit. Yes. The church must begin to practice every word that you profess. Oh, Remember the saying, uh, that actions speak louder than words? Yes. That's what people say. Yes. They might not hear you all the time, but I bet you they watch you. Yes. 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 And if you can't live out there like you're supposed to, how do you think anybody's going to come in here no, no. Amen. 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 and do the same Amen. 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 The attitude of the soldiers who fought over the meager scraps of Jesus' arraignment, taking for themselves those who were only looking out for number one. The job was grim, of course, depressing, the pay probably low, and, and they had no purse, except for the few garments these, these peasants had on. And then they rolled the dice to see who got the most. They sold the clothing to supplement their income, but the reasons that they did it does not matter. They justify their actions by declaring, if nobody looks out for me, I gotta do it for myself. Jesus. What about the elders, the rulers of the city, the teachers of faith, the priests, the scribes who looked on? No one helped, no one cared. Even the ones who thought Jesus was exactly what he professed to be. The king of kings, the Messiah. Still no one came to plead his cause or even stand in solidarity with him acknowledging and confirming their belief in who he was. Yeah. Uh, don't shake your heads in despair and wonder why no one said anything about that. No, God. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lord, yes, God. We, we just can't imagine that somebody did that. Oh my God, wasn't it awful that everybody just left him out there? Mm -hmm.
Because on the sacrificial lamb called yes. Jesus, yes. who was wounded for our transgressions, yes. he was bruised yes. for our iniquities, yes. and upon him and with his stripes we are healed. The way of grace. Yes. We have a choice to accept that grace or to reject it. Yes. Somehow or another, in the agony of the moment, the pitiful. Jesus said he's going to come into the kingdom and listen, not only are you going to come into the kingdom, but I'm going to let you be with me. Yes,
get us down here to sin. But the question is in that, that even on that day, we are tried with the same thing. Yes. What is your attitude today? Is it that we just satisfied to go to church? And, I, and I'm, not, I'm not being funny, and I'm not, I'm not condemning, but there are people on their way to hell through it. Yes, Because they keep hearing the message. They keep hearing the message, and they keep rejecting, they keep rejecting, they keep rejecting, and saying, not me, not today. So my question is, we? Yes, Jesus. Well, the Bible said the day you hear my voice. And we heard his voice tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. That was spoken to Pastor Payton. Now the question is that there's an invitation given. And the question is, will you still stay there knowing that you need a Savior? Amen. Knowing that you need to repent? Yes. And you will walk away the same way and say, not me, not today. Uh -huh. But I need to remind all of us that tomorrow is not promised. And to be honest about it is, is that we so we we so much are concerned about what other people think about us that we forget that there is a God that loves us so much, and He said, "I stand without strength." Said, whosoever will, let him come. And she so eloquently told us that he's not condemning us. It was all about love on Calvary. Oh, yeah. yeah. And John even reminded us, he said, he so, he so loved the world that he gave. Yes, yes. And my question tonight is, will you give God your heart? Will you give him your yes? Yes. Because you can only be blessed and have peace and sweetness as you yield him your body and your soul. You can't give him half of you and say, this half I'll give to you, but I'm going to keep this for myself. I think the songwriter said he wants it all. Is there anybody in this in this building that's been half going through the motions and you say in the day preacher, I just want I just want to give it my all. Are you here tonight? Will you be willing to say it's me? I, I need I need to say Or will you keep walking around with the same attitude and say, I'm just as good as anybody else? But can I tell you your goodness is just as good as you're to the same Has the blood been applied? Have you been washed in the blood? Amen. But there's so many people say, yeah, I was washed in the blood. But can I tell you that sometimes we need to go back? Amen. You're here tonight. I, I'm not going to take a lot of time, but I just I, I just feel like that this invitation needs to be extended. Amen. Because this woman of God came and she declared to us. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. She poured out of her heart and her yes. soul to tell us. Will you choose Jesus in paradise or will you choose to be that one with the attitude? You can come. Maybe, maybe you gave your heart to God some years ago and you know that there, there's been a point where you haven't really been fully living up to what you told God you would do. You have kind of backslid. You kind of moved in the back. You were on fire at one point in time. They, 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 they couldn't even mention the name Jesus without you shouting, without you tears rolling down your eyes. When you think about how good, but all of a sudden there's been some things that happened to kind of part. But I want to tell you that God will soften your heart again. The fire will burn again. If you would just repent. If you would come back. I'm through. If you. If there's anybody in this building 
that know that prayer changes things. Or it changes you in the midst of things. I want to I extend to you that you would come to the altar and lay, and lay it at the feet of Jesus. If you're not able to walk, you stay where you are, and we're going to pray anyway. But, but if you're willing to stand at this altar and say, Lord, it's me. I, I've got some loved ones that I'm believing God for. I believe it. I'm believing for myself. I'm going through some things, and I, and I, need, I, need, I need to say
sees you, Father. And God, to just, just, just to help them, Father God. God, we thank you that they will be clean, them children, Father God. Cover them right now in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to follow the communion outline in our program. That's the pages going, pages going to carry us through, and we're going to, we have already got some places to sign. People already in place. All right, amen. Do we have some money for the first point? I If any man sins, he has an advocate with the Father Jesus Christ, the righteous, and he is a good situation for our sins, and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. Wherefore, ye that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and you intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in this holy way, draw near with faith, and take the holy sacrament to your comfort, devoutly kneeling for we're going to sit in our seats. Make your humble confession to Almighty God. Together, 